Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today I'm having a play with these like snap buttons. Um, I ordered these off Amazon because I'm making my grandchildren some little um, activity things for their birthday in March. They're, both of their birthdays are in March. Um, so I thought you might like to see what I have been making. So I'm just having a bit of a play. Um, so I've made some of these... I've used the um, half laminated paper, so the one-sided laminated paper um, and making some little pouches like this. So I just wanted to see how how sort of like good they are on sort of like how what you what, what you can use them on really. Um, so I've made some little um, little pouches really. Um, I know you probably know how to make these anyway, but I thought they were really, really nice. This one I made with the, this is the um, mini embellishment, butterfly embellishment paper and I've just taken the whole piece of paper and laminated it just as like a butterfly paper and I think it looks really lovely. Popped a little snap button on there and made a little pouch. I think these would be really good in your handbag to put your receipts in or little coupons or something like that. Um, and I think they're really nice. So I'm really impressed with these little snap buttons. I think they're quite nice. I have seen some people use them before But I just wanted to see what you can use them on. I did try here. This was on some of uh, the toilet roll tube. So I wanted to see how um, Sort of like strong they are or what you could use them on. I wouldn't use them probably on just paper. I would probably laminate it um, because I don't think it would last because I think the more you pull it I think it would probably just rip um, and on this one I actually popped it onto some fabric and I covered it um, because obviously I wouldn't use them like this in my journals or anything but I did cover it and popped it on some fabric and I think it's really really lovely just take that off and that just clips on there so you could do all sorts of things in your journals with these and I'm really quite liking them so um, I do like them covered I really do um, but on the kiddies little things I think they are great and on these little pouches like this I think they work perfect um, but I will try and make some bits for journals um, and cover them I'll show you how I covered those as well on a, on a tutorial at some point so enough of that I am going to show you quickly how I made these little pouches now, what I've made them with, I hope this isn't going to go blurry, are some envelopes. Now, I've got envelopes which are stuck down. They've obviously got damp at some point and they are just stuck. So I can't use them for anything else. So what I've done, I have just stuck the little bits down that were poking up and I've just um, inked them, inked them around the edges. I've got two. Now, let me measure these. Let's show you. Let's see. So that's um, four and a half by six and three, six and a quarter. Four and a half by six and a quarter, these ones are. So I've just, that's it basically, it's just an envelope. Um, I've got some smaller ones here so for this little smaller one, this one here. Um, but these ones make this size, which is really nice, which is four and a half by three just under three and a half which I think is quite a nice little size so I'm going to pop that to the side I'm going to show you what I've been doing so to make the inner bit which is this this little bit here now that's really it's really quite easy to do I'm sure there's lots and lots of tutorials well there are lots of tutorials out there to show you but just get your envelope fold it in half so I'm just using two because if you you know too many I think in these opened up I think it will make it too bulky if you wanted to put lots of things in them so I think four little pockets in there is plenty like that so all as I've done and then I'm going to get my <coughs> excuse me I've still got a sore throat and a croaky voice so I'm just going to just take a tiny little bit off the top to so where I folded it, fold it in half like that, just cut this off so you've got two little pockets like that. 
and then the same on this one just a tiny tiny piece off the top just to open them up Pop that to the side just like that okay so then we've got four little pockets and what I'm going to do I'm going to take my glue which is the extra strong one from Stamperia and I'm going to open the up the envelope up again and I'm going to pop let's get this little goopy bit off I'm going to pop run a bit of glue along the middle bit and then up the middle just like that so it's like an upside down T and then you just push that down and stick it down okay and then do the same with the other one pop that across like that and then up the middle just like that and squash it down oops oozing out the top okay so then they just open up like that and then what we've got to do is just stick the two together so you want to pop a little bit along the bottom again and then down through the middle like that and then stick this one on top and then just hold it down just squash it down make sure they are in place make sure I have glued everything together there we go okay so that's it they open up like that now let me just pop the lid back on I've taken a piece of the laminated paper now I've got a video to show you how I did this um, so I've just cut a piece the same width um, as the envelope um, and all as it is is we've got a piece of it's just A4 paper copy paper and I've just taken this section down here okay so I've just cut the section down so what I'm going to do you put that on the front it depends if you've got a pattern on it depends which way you would do it um, and I'm just going to pop it in like that so it would just wrap it around the envelope okay push it down just like that make sure it's all nice and level like that and then this piece comes up and over like that just fold it over like a little envelope now what I've done to just strengthen this bit a little bit if you open it up I've added an extra piece here so I've got an extra piece which I've just cut off the laminate and I'm going to just stick it onto there I've only just I've just stuck it down with some glue stick because I am going to sew them now if you're not going to sew them it's it's optional you don't have to sew it um, but I'm going to sew mine so I'm just going to stick a little piece along the top like that now if you didn't have any of the snap buttons um, any of these then you can use a bit of velcro or you can use what we did in the um, little toilet roll tube journals yesterday any sort of closure you can have on them but I was just playing with these snap buttons so there we go now I'm going to just round the corners with my little punch just like that so there we go so that looks all nice and neat and now I'm just going to ink around it just a little bit just to take that white off so I'm just using the Grand Espresso just a just a little bit of colour on there again you can use any ink you've got it's just making a mess perfect now what I'm going to do I'm going to run the sewing machine all the way around the outside okay so I'll be back two seconds okay so there we go I've just sewn around the outside so that is optional you don't have to do that I just do it because I like the sewing bit okay so then what we need to do the reason I've just used the one-sided laminated paper is because we need to stick onto this paper 
if you did it both sides with laminate you wouldn't be able to stick um, the little pouches inside um, because you wouldn't be able to stick it onto the laminate properly so I've just used um, the one sided so I'm going to glue this in again I'm going to do the upside down T so I'm going to go along the bottom and then up through the middle like that I'm going to make sure that's in straight and then just push that down like that down through the middle okay so that's in that side and we want to do the same with the back so a line along the bottom and then you want one coming up through the middle just like that and then we'll stick that one onto the back just like that okay make sure it's dry so that just opens up like that and then that just flops over the top which I think looks really good okay so to pop these little buttons on this is the little machine that you have um, and it's got like a little metal um, pin in there which when you push it down it squashes the plastic together and that's what holds it on so we've got lots of lovely bright colours in here so I think I will probably just go for this lovely pinky purple I think or should we go for the brighter one maybe we'll go for the brighter one on there so you would need two of these ones which look a bit like little um, drawing pins and then we have there's two other different ones so you need these two like that okay so whoops like this once you if you've got them you'll know um, and if you wanted to get them I'll pop the link down below anyway um, but it comes with instructions anyway as well so I'm going to put the lid on that so I don't knock it over so all as I do I'll take that I'll take my little pokey tool sort of try and find at the middle like roughly I don't know probably there just I'm just going to give it a quick little poke on there just so it marks under here as well it doesn't go all the way through pressed a little bit too hard then and I'm going to just pop a little hole through now on the top one obviously you want your little um, button on there so poke that through and to hold it down you want to go for this little one here I don't think it really matters which one you put on where okay oopsie daisy this one you just clamp on and it just pushes it down so what it does this little plastic bit that's sticking out it actually squashes it so it makes it go flat and that's what holds it in place you can't take that off um, or it would be very very difficult to take off and then I'm just going to pop that where that mark is pop a little hole through there now remember if you're going to do it put the little one with the flat bit on at the back okay so that's got to go through the back like that okay so it's flat and this is the piece that that fits into so squash that down get your little tool and just pop it on there like that and squash it down like that and then that just goes on there and clips and I think they are really really nice and that's it and how quick and easy is that so again if you didn't have these you can use a little bit of velcro you can use a little one of those little round ones with the string that we use I can't remember what they're called um, as the closure or you can just tie a little bit of ribbon or something around it but I was just testing out these snap buttons and I thought they were really good I quite like them so I think they're lovely so they are ideal little things for my grandchildren because I know they're not going to be able to pull them off 
and they're going to be fun to pop open as well for them so there we go guys that was just me playing around today um, so I thought I would just show you what I was doing but these are really lovely I'm quite liking those so I'm going to probably make lots of little bits and pieces I'll show you I'll try and do a tutorial on covering them because obviously a lot of us won't use them as plastic like this um, in our journals so I will see what I can come up with and we'll, we'll um, an easy way to cover them anyway okay guys thank you so much for joining me you have a lovely lovely rest of the day and I will see you soon take care bye bye